Welcome back to the Huddle on Michael Bumpus with Dave Wyman. And right now we're joined by Jarek Reed the second. Yes, sir. See, I named my son Michael Bumpus after me, and I didn't want to call him Junior, so I threw the second on that. It, what's the reason for the second? Is it the same thing or that's just same thing? Just... You know, everybody got like the junior at the end uh-huh. of their name. It's like they call him like JJ. They call my dad JJ. Um, so my the whole background was like, me getting called the second. It just sounds different and right. it sounds better. It looked good on the jersey it looked too. Great on the jersey. Yeah, yeah. great on the jersey. Those are my reasons. I go. It sounds better and it looks better on the jersey. Yep. Well, not only that, you got another Reed on on the field, so it sure, yeah, you. little J Reed for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. There you go. And he just got a regular Reed on back of his jersey. You know, it's kind of just basic. You know? <laughs> right, yours is superior. Exactly. Did See? you did you tell him that? No, you know this big guy. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it though. I don't have to say too much. He knows it. I I was telling Bump that we we had you on, and I was like, he does. Jerick doesn't come off as a rookie. You you seem like you're you're kind of a salty veteran. A little bit. I can't say the V word and out there to the other vets. You know, they get they take take a hold of that. But no, nah, you know, just being around a lot of vets in our room who just molded me and just introduced me to the game and into this this league. You know, it's different from going from college. Like I said in previous interviews, it's different. So when like when you have guys like I was uh, B Wags, Jamal, Diggs, Gino, I mean, they just show you the ropes. They show you how to carry yourself and also be yourself. Be a rookie, enjoy it. But you know. As the years go on, you got to start acting a certain way. Yeah. Man, so you're from Olive Branch, Mississippi. I got yes, family. Sir. That's where my family's from, but we're from down south in, uh, in Biloxi, Mississippi. Okay, yeah, by the water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my dad was in the military, so that's all I happened over mm-hmm. there at Keesler. And then you go to New Mexico, and now you up in Seattle. You keep getting further and further away, man. Further from the south. Man. I literally was just talking about, like, if you go in the locker room right now, and the guys are playing spades, they're playing cars. And it's like, man, I'm losing my roots a little bit just because, <laughs> I mean, I go home once or twice a year. Yeah. You know, I only get to talk to my family on the phone. And I, and I honestly, I miss that. I miss the southerness. I miss the soul food. I miss the cookouts. I really do. But, like, it's been a blessing to get be able to get out and see the world for going from the south to the west coast and Pacific Northwest. It's, it's dope. But, you know, you sometimes you miss home. You miss where right. you came from. And you don't want to say it, but you lose some of that yep. in the transition. Yep. Just in, in case you don't know, if you don't know how to play spades or dominoes, Dave, when you go home, it's all bad for you. Yeah, it's all bad. If you ever get invited to cookout, for sure know how to play those two things. <laughs> I, I don't know dominoes because I'm a West Coast guy, but spades, we used to play all the time in college. There yeah. you go. So, yeah. how, how's, your, how's your wrist action throwing the cars down? You got? Yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> I was just kind of quiet. You got you to gotta throw them down? You got to I know they do down. that in dominoes. No, you got to throw them down. Sometimes the car go on, onto the, the other opponent. Yep. That's what you want. Though. You want to disrespect them. Like, yeah, I just want this pot. We yeah. getting you ready, Dave. Just rub it in, huh? <laughs> Uh, so how we, how do you feel now versus, like, that first week? You know, being a rookie, going out there, I know it's a lot faster. There's a lot more to think about and all that stuff. Uh, how do you feel after, like, four – I feel like these are, like, dog years in the NFL. No, yeah, you know, like, sure. the last four or five weeks has been, like, three months, right? Or how, how do you – are you starting to pick things up? 100%. It, um, it's been going a lot quicker than I expected. Like, we're on week six right now. Um, but from the start, you walk out there, you have 60,000-plus – Screaming, screaming like your team name, your name, and coming from New Mexico where we had like a sold out crowd of like thirty five thousand, going to sixty thousand, and you playing on TV, yeah. you know it's a big jump. But you know that's like I said before, like man, that fuels you to go out there and play better. You know at first like the game is moving faster. You got a lot of vets out there, a lot of guys who've been in this league and been doing this for so long, and they are used to the speed. So it's like you just gotta take it one, one play at a time, one step at a time. And throughout the weeks, I've been just getting more comfortable with it. You know, it's still some stuff that's still new to me, obviously. Like, I haven't played a full game on defense yet, but I'm learning it each and every week. It's slowing down a little bit. Man, I remember when they drafted you, I put on your film, and uh, you got instincts, man. You were flying around, making big hits, uh, big plays on special teams. Mm -hmm. Um, When you are running down on special teams, is – does it feel the same? Does it feel faster? What, is there a difference, or are you just in your zone being the Jay Reed that you've been your whole life? Uh, honestly, now it's, it, man, it's, it's second nature now. So it's like when I step on that field, if it's defense, special teams, it's like, man, I'm going to go out there and make a play. Especially for me right now, my role is special teams. Mm-hmm. I'm a core guy. I'm on every single one, kickoff, kickoff return, punt, punt return, hands team. So it's like that's my role. That's where I'm getting my offset. So every time I'm on that field, man, I'm taking advantage of it. You know, right now I'm number one in the, in the league with special team tackles. Let's go. So, you know, it's just they told me I can go Pro Bowl from there. I'm like, yep. okay, cool. Yeah. You know, until I get my chance on defense, I'm still working hard for that, still yep. studying my plays, preparing. You know, you never know. But as far as right now, it's a special team. So I'm going to do my, my full job and go out there and make plays. That's, that's awesome. What, uh, what's your favorite? 
A uh, gunner, for sure, a gunner. Okay. Well, you, do you get double teamed out there a lot? I haven't been paying attention. Uh, no, nah, for some reason they just don't want to. I think this week I am, though. Uh, Cincinnati's a big return team, uh, so they usually double the kick side gunner. So we're going to see how that game goes. But, you know, it's just I me mean, practice. Practice is re really harder than the game. So we'll see how that goes. You know what you should do? We got two guys, if they double team you, just grab their helmets and slam them together. <laughs> <laughs> if it was that easy, right? I'll Wouldn't do that it every be nice? time. I'll do it every single time. Well, uh, th I'm surprised there are not more fights because that, th I mean, you see the way when those guys double team the, the single mm -hmm. gunner, it's like. There's no rules. If you if you both have hands on them, you can hold them, pull yeah. them, grab them, bite them. There's no flat coming. Yeah. And so it's like for the other side of us, the gunners is like, Man, get outside, get out, get out of bounds get as quick as you bounds. can, yep. yeah. quick as you can, and just run your 15 and just dive right back in and try to like split them up, attack one. Like it's hard. Obviously, you get jumped by two guys. It's, it's hard to win that fight. So right. You gotta f figure it out, find yeah. a way. It's like a street brawl. Yeah, yeah. And, and don't nobody care if you get hemmed up either. So that's nah. why you got You just gotta make your play. Yeah. My first time ever being a gunner was in the NFL, and I got double teamed by Chicago. And they 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 beat me up. I came to the side. I go, coach, they can do that. They go, yeah, they can do that. And it's like it's, there's no saving you. You out there by yourself. There's no picks coming. Like Nothing. it's mono against two. Yep. You yep. know what I'm saying? So it's a tough job, but it's fun though. Once you beat them, yeah. go down there and make a play. Uh -huh. man, it's fun. Yeah. You um you find I remember when I moved. So I'm from California, so mm -hmm. then I went to school in Eastern Washington, then moved out here playing for the Hawks. And the hardest part was just getting around, man. It mm -hmm. was like, are you comfortable finding your way around town now, or are you kind of just stay in your block and, and call it good? Uh, for the most part, since I be here all the time, I usually just stay. I really stay in Renton, but like on the off days and days where we have more time, I mean, I, I love Bellevue. I've been mm -hmm. in Bellevue a lot. I try to find my way around there. You know, I get my body work out there from Dr. B. Um, so I try to get out there, go to Kirkland and then Seattle, one of the places where I really stay away from just cause of traffic and yeah. parking. Well, I was just talking to, uh, oh, God, oh dude about the parking, man. I, I haven't tickets. <laughs> I was talking to D love about a ticket. I just got for like a traffic violation. They took a picture of my license plate and sent it home. I got a <laughs> ticket, man. Back home to Mississippi. Yeah. So my car's, uh, my car's, uh, address is back at home, Mississippi. Uh -huh. So they sent a ticket and my mom sent me that. 140. I'm like, dog, what did I do that? <laughs> so I stay away from Seattle for yeah. real. But like, Renton, Bellevue, Kirkland, I be in that area a lot, just trying to explore, see yeah. more things, see more things around the area. Right. Hey, uh, getting back to football, Jarek, real quick. Um, how many? It seems like there's lots of guys on your defensive backfield that mm -hmm. can play multiple positions. And is I mean, somebody was talking about. I think it was KJ was talking about possibly moving Diggs up into strong safety mm -hmm. and let him make more plays, but. Is that the the case? I mean, is that what it looks like? Because it looks like to me, everybody's playing a bunch of different positions. You got Kobe Bryant mm -hmm. playing safety. I mean, it's kind of kind of new to me. Yeah. You know, having guys play that many different positions. Or you can play now. Can you play nickel and safety? Or? Nickel safety. Um, and like I said before, you know, it's just the versatility of our room. You know, in this day and age, you can't just have one guy play one position. This guy play that position. You know, injuries happen. Stuff happen. Guys are not performing on the level you need them to perform at. So you got to move guys around. So it's vital that, you know, every one of your DBs can be interchangeable and move around. So it's like, yeah, I mean, if they want to, the game plans for Diggs to go to strong safety and out of the post, I mean, we, we can make that happen. He knows the calls. If you want Jay Love to go to the post instead of being down, he knows that he can do that. Jamal came back. We put him at nickel, you know, big nickel, and then he also played dime, and now he's playing safety. So it's like you have to be interchangeable because different schemes require you to be in different positions. And if you just one dimensional, you can't survive on this defense. And so you got to evolve with the game. It's not – Back when the Legion of Boom, you know, those guys just played their positions. Right. Nowadays, we all have to play multiple positions to be great. All right, well, Jared Reed, the second, the second. Multiple positions can get it all done, man. We appreciate you taking time out of your Not day. for sure, man. Thank you guys for having me.